Now that we have the cab off of the frame, the next step is to get the bed off of the frame. And we're gonna start that process by rolling the frame out into the driveway so that I can rearrange a couple things in the garage and make it easier for me to work on the bed. It's been a couple hours since I last checked in. It's actually been six hours since I last checked in. Rich came over in the last bit of the video and helped me take the bed off of the truck. I had to fight a couple of the bed fasteners to get that off. That was a pain in the butt. The socket slipped off of one of the fasteners and I bashed my forearm and it hurts a little bit and it's been bugging me ever since. So I just bruised it pretty good. After getting the bed off the frame, we then got it up inside the crane underneath the cab and then added more structural rigidity and it is now stored on the other side of the house. Um, and that leaves the frame. And here it is. Um, I think the best way to describe it is it is as I was expecting it to be. There's a little rust here and there in a couple of the joints where pieces of metal meet and were welded. Spare tire holder basically should not exist anymore. That was rusted. The cross member along the back is rusted as well. The big thing is the rear corner on the passenger side, um, basically from the rear cab mount about three feet backwards is just gone. Then that's where the farmer's patch is. And when they did that, they even got the leaf spring mount in the wrong spot because the little pivot arm on the back of the leaf spring is at a different angle from side to side. So that means I have a lot of framework that I need to be doing. But I am not gonna worry about that now because I still have to get to the frame. So that means more disassembly. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the transmission out, which means disconnecting the drive shafts, front and rear, and then unstrapping the block of wood that is holding the front of it up and then taking apart the cross member holding the rear apart and just dropping it on the ground with a jack of course. not supposed to happen.
kids the next day and last night I finished up dropping the transmission out of the truck. I spent the morning cleaning up the shop and removing all of the components that would be useful off of the old transmission and setting them aside. And as you saw, I removed the rear axle from the frame as well. Um, so that is where we're gonna end this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to get updates of when I create new videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below and I will get to them as soon as possible. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.